normally I do a book review on a book that you can go to any major bookshop and buy and there'll be novels because I love reading novels particularly thrillers but actually I get sent a load of other books as well and I've decided that I am going to start reviewing some of them um, did you know that a new book is published now about every three seconds um, and because we have a lot of freedom now so we can self-publish books um, that's a great thing in many many ways and sometimes it's not because the quality is really poor but um, today I'm going to review a self-published book and this is it it's called Bullied Back to Life by Graham Harris um, now I met Graham on LinkedIn through a mutual contact who recommended we talk to each other and we had a conversation via um, Skype about his book and his message around bullying um, as a result of that conversation, um, where Graham kindly paid for my time, so thanks for that Graham, I asked him to send me a copy of the book and I said that I would uh, read it and review it. And that's what I've done. So uh, this is a self-published book, but the book itself, I don't know if you can see, is high quality. It's got a really good feel and that matters with self-publishing because often they can be poor quality. Um, in fact, there's very little on here that tells me it's self-published other probably than a, a little bit on the back where it says Graham Harris Publishing but equally because there's no um, gap between the words and the edge there and it's just those little bits of finesse that will often tell us when a book has been published through a publisher but um, this book also all the proceeds from the sales goes to a charity called Bullies Out which is known to me so um, Graham will be making no money from this book this is a passion project so it may come as no surprise that um, Graham was bullied when he was at school and it had a profound effect on him. Um, one that he actually used quite positively in his life. But Graham was bullied at school and this is the story of his being bullied and how he dealt with it and how it impacted on his own life through his own behaviour, both for good and not so good, and how he came through it. And bullying became, I suppose, part of his rocket fuel for success, if you like. The book also covers other people's experiences of bullying so you get various other stories from people some of whom are known to me and I always think that's quite strong in a book to do that because one person's form of bullying will be very different to another's so um, if you've been bullied at all or your children are experiencing oh. bullying You are being a bugger, aren't you? Stop it. Okay. <coughs> Therefore, this book will really speak to anyone who was bullied, has been bullied, particularly at school or during their school life, but also a little bit in the workplace. And I was bullied at school for a whole year, or at least I think it was a whole year. It's very hard to remember by two girls. So um, when you've experienced bullying, it's obviously um, something that does stay with you and it can impact on you and every now and then it will uh, raise its head or you'll become very angry if your own children or even grandchildren are bullied because it reminds you of your own past experience. And also I learned about different types of bullying, one I like homophobic bullying, things that I wouldn't have even thought of. Things like being bullied by someone deliberately avoiding a subject they found difficult like you were gay and had a same-sex partner or something like that and how hurtful that can be that kind of silence which shows that you're not acceptable in some way or they'll accept three quarters of your life but not the quarter of your life that they don't like um, and I must admit that's something I hadn't really thought about even though I have loads and loads of gay friends and it just doesn't bother me about who loves who, as long as they're adults and they're all consenting, who cares? In terms of the structure of this book, Graham offers a lot of resources for people to go away and um, seek advice, seek help. And I think that's a really good thing to do because people can apply it to their own situation and perhaps seek help. So I really like that aspect. Um, he also does comment on other people's experiences of bullying. I like that because it shows that he's listened to and understood and empathised with some stories and learned from others that are very different from his. The only danger with things like that is you can, if you're not careful, become a bit preachy. And the truth is, none of us really like to be preached to, not by anyone. So I think that's, in self-publishing, you've got to be really careful about that. Sometimes stories can just speak for themselves. 
Um, it's like a p looking at a piece of art. The artist may have one motivation for creating a piece of art and they may tell you what it is but that m art might say something completely different to you. Your interpretation of it may be very different. It may inspire you in a totally different way. Overall this book is a really easy read. Um, it's got some powerful stuff in it. It's got some great advice. If you've ever been a victim of bullying or even if you've ever been a bully and you now regret it um, about some steps you can take or if you're a parent or a grandparent and some of your family is experiencing bullying. There is a small amount about workplace bullying which is very very common um, but I think that's something that perhaps Graham could think about exploring more fully in another book. Um, because when you're an adult and you're bullied at work a whole different set of circumstances will come into play and you'll probably put up with things for much longer because you you know your whole livelihood can rest upon it yeah a really good read all the proceeds go to a charity so you know here you go you can find it on Amazon